They didn't do that in the cocaine 80s. That lip would not have ended well. Who's that fucking guy over there? Well, I had the flu last month. Caught me out of nowhere. Early on, I caught the flu, right? Was the spotlight guy falling asleep? <laughs> uh, walking too fast? I like, oh shit. I thought he was. I fixed you out. I leaned on the mic stand. He's like, all right, burn it. You get my bed in for the late game. No, I got the flu last month. Whenever you catch the flu or like COVID, you're always laying in bed trying to figure out who gave it to you. My stupid fucking sister in law. She's too social. She's talking to everybody. Just go to the store and come home. Anybody remotely Asian went by you, you're like, that there it was. There it is. There it is. Great. Now I got the next thing. What's this one called? I know who gave it to me. I flew back from Nashville, Tennessee, next to a guy in a cowboy hat in bare feet. Sitting <laughs> so there going, there's no way this guy's a real cowboy. He'd be on a horse, right? Mending fences. Beating up the queers, doing cowboy shit. He's flying to Hollywood, he's got his hat on, he just came from a rave. How do you not know as an adult to not be barefoot on an airplane? People are walking in and out of the bathroom, tracking God knows what from what orifice on their shoes into the rug, and you're standing on it. Dude, he had his feet crossed like that. I'm looking at the bottom of his foot. I'm like, the next pandemic is growing right now. And his foot. And all I could think was, you know what? God made that person. Right? He makes that person a lot. Mouth breathing fucking morons. More often than not, that's what he makes. Yet we still go to church on Sunday and praise the guy. Like, when is the constructive criticism coming? When are you going to be like, hey, God, how about a couple of semi-smart human beings? Maybe you could crank one out, right? I usually get the flu shot at the beginning of the season. You know, I just missed it this year. I'm a vaccine guy. I don't give a fuck. Whatever science. You know, I get the vaccines. I don't care. But I don't like the newer ones. I'll get one for the mumps, right? <laughs> Chicken pox, polio, I'll do those, but the newer ones. Well, what do you do, right? You either them like not siding with the evil like pharmaceutical companies, or you align yourself with people who don't wear shoes on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm relieved this election is almost over. Jesus Christ, how much longer can they drag it out? Does anybody not know who they're voting for? Do you need another debate? I mean, they're so similar, right? <laughs> Jesus, I can't make up my mind. We got an orange-headed bigot over here and a real estate agent who talks through her nose. I, I can't, I can't seem to figure it out. Oh, well, that was a good point. Oh, and then, then there is that. Is there any way you could have another debate and drag it out for a year? I gotta be honest with you, I can't believe Trump hasn't wrapped it up yet. You know, I know that seems weird to younger people, but when I was a kid, if, when I was a kid, when growing up, all right, if you were running for president and you got shot and you didn't die, that was the end of the election. <laughs> Everybody's like, dude, this guy's a maniac. This is the kind of guy we need to run the country. No, no, I'm not saying he's a good person. 
No, he's not. He would molest your daughters. I'm not even picking a side here. You fucking morons. I don't like Kamala either. I don't like either one of them. Guys, it doesn't matter who wins. Corporations run the country. Jesus Christ. I like this color tie. Oh, I like this color tie. How many fucking times? Trump is a lunatic, though. That guy got shot, jumped up, jumped up, and yelled in the direction of the person that just shot him with no weapon. That is not the move of a sane person. Dude, I would have been on the ground crying under a tarp. Try me in the SUV. I don't want to do it anymore. All right, I quit. I give in. She wins. Dude, Trump jumped up like a substitute teacher. Like, who'll throw that? Who'll throw that? You can't keep the camera straight. You know what I think saved him? He has oh, all those God. weird movements on stage. You know? <laughs> but I think right as the dude pulled the trigger, he was just going and sweep me down and the bullet went right by his head. Any other politician, that would have been a wrap. Hillary Clinton, dead. Obama, dead. George Bush can dodge a shoe, not a bullet. Dead. <laughs> You know what would have been great to see Hillary get shot in the head and watch her continue talking with this computer wire and like the microchips come out? I just refuse to believe that that's an actual human being. Why would you let some hillbilly from Arkansas fuck fours down the hall from you for four straight decades? You were a senator. You can get an apartment. Why? Get out of this! Oh, we're good. <laughs> All right, that's my little take. I like Ronnie Chang talking about technology. What it is, Ronnie, is older people don't give a shit about it. We like to go outside in a self-driving car. You know what that is? That's a police car. That's your own private police car, you dumb fucks. <laughs> That's what the future's gonna be. You, you're gonna be driving in your self driving car, thinking you're going to the gym, you tweeted the wrong thing. Hey, I thought we were going this way. I'm sorry, Bill. Big Brother is upset with you now. <laughs> you need to be re educated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once again, we're going through an election and they keep blaming immigrants. Like, that's the problem. That's why you lost your farm. Because some guy's floating over on a mattress from Cuba. Harry Collins, Jesus Christ! That guy didn't show up, like, still at my house! That's not why the middle class is going away. It's because there's a handful of rich cunts at the top. Yeah! Nerds! Fucking nerds are consolidating every business and getting rid of all the jobs. But you know what it is? They're white! So you don't see it, right? Well, they wouldn't do that. They look like me. That's the fucking balls deep in the middle class. That's the most brilliant thing about being racist, is if the dick in your ass is the same color as your ass, for some reason you don't feel it. You're actually inspired by it. You're bent over a table going, that could be me someday. If I work hard enough. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. God. Anyway, let's get out of that. Let's talk about P Diddy. Something a little lighter, huh? <laughs> Fucking amazing. Why did he keep the tapes? Listen, I don't rape anybody, but if I did <laughs> Maybe I'd watch it once, then you, you, you throw it out. He went old school like Jeffrey Dahmer, you know? Jeffrey, throw out what you didn't eat, you know? Keep the heads in the fridge. No one's looking in the trash. You can throw them all out on the same day. Garbage collectors, somebody quit bowling, I guess. You just throw them out. 
I like how Netflix, that's their new money grab, is doing miniseries on fucking serial killers. And they're having good looking actors playing them. You see the guy playing Jeffrey Dahmer? Who the fuck was that? Look, Jeffrey Dahmer was good looking for a cannibal from Milwaukee. Look, look at that. And someone said, You're gonna meet somebody who eats people in Milwaukee. You're thinking pointy teeth, the fucking ear flap hat. Jeffrey shows up. <laughs> anyway, getting back to P. Diddy, I saw that whole tape. They're kicking the shit out of his wife in a, you know, the hotel or whatever. You know, this is the deal. If you're a dude and you put your hands on a child or a woman, you're not a man anymore, right? That's right. That's right. You're trans, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning you transition from a man to a piece of shit. See? Just sick of words getting hijacked. That's why I d deliberately put trans in. <laughs> the word trans has been around for a long time. Remember TWA? Trans World Airlines? It was just men and women on there. Back before everybody knew there was an issue. <laughs> used to watch pre-game on an NBA game they would talk about your transition game the Celtics tonight need to work on their transition game if they have any hope of beating the Knicks the transition airspace and aviation you go see a mechanic he goes you need a new tranny whoa, whoa, whoa. transition <laughs> you know what trans people really are you know what they are God's mistakes right <laughs> is he even looking at the build sheet? He's just like, I'm throwing dick on that one and a couple of pussies over there. I need to get some balls. I got a two o'clock tea time. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then these poor people, they got to walk around in the wrong body. And then when they express it to someone, they get yelled at by people who don't wear shoes on an airplane. <laughs> Out of all the people that go to church, I think black people do it the best. Nobody goes harder, praising God, than black people. They go fucking all out. All out. And I gotta say, as I started looking in, I I'm not seeing the results. <laughs> like, I feel like, my God, how white is this crowd? I hope I'm I never understand this fucking city. Bunch of Democrat racists. This is fascinating. It, it literally is a Netflix series. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know where to go with that reaction. <laughs> Just a silly, cute little joke. Uh, anyway, is there somebody with hairy legs that's gonna fucking do a write up on that one? Oh, they don't think they don't think they don't think comments went just a little bit. Just a little bit too far. <laughs> anyway, plowing ahead here. All right, here's one for you. I was going to Calgary recently, right? Flying up there, and I uh, get on the plane, and the guy in front of me is like my age, but he's shredded. You know, he's got this jujitsu t shirt on, fucking Burt Reynolds mustache, long hair, just a guy's guy, total badass. He was such a badass, I was almost hoping someone was gonna try to take over the plane just so I could watch him beat the shit out of everybody. The only thing I had to worry about is if he missed with a spinning heel kick, caught me in the temple, and I'd have to learn how to read again, right? So sitting across from me was this sort of Harry Potter looking white chick, you know, had that binge watching body, just blew it out. 26 years old. You know what I mean? Like, you ever like go to get soft serve ice cream? You know, when they pull the cone away and those last two clumps just go pfft, pfft, on the counter? It was like that with the belt. <laughs> and I know you guys are thinking, oh, no, you know, you're body shaming. No, I'm not. I'm an artist. I'm painting a picture. All right? <laughs> this is what was happening in the. In the airplane, right? So the flight ends, and this 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 urchin stands up, and she goes over to the badass in front of me. She's like, "Excuse me." She's like, "Do you do you practice jujitsu?" 
And the guy's like, as a matter of fact, I do. She goes, oh, that's amazing. She goes, you know, I've been taking it for like the last like three months. Is it weird that I already feel like I'd have a game plan if somebody came at me? The guy's like, no, that's great. That's fantastic. That's why everyone should know jujitsu. And I'm thinking in my head, like, well, yeah, but you know, not the rapist. Right? <laughs> you don't want everyone to know it. <laughs> just the potential victims. You just you teach it to everybody. Now this poor woman's got to get in the octagon. <laughs> Joe Rogan's doing like the commentating. He's trying to pass the guard. She's going for a triangle. She's running on a lot of energy. If he can get that out of leg free, this rape is going to happen. <laughs> I think it's fantastic that that woman was learning jujitsu. I don't understand why more women don't do it. You know, like as a man, I don't have to worry about getting raped unless I go to jail, right? And you can better believe if I'm on trial and it's not going the way I think I want it to go, during the recesses, I'm going to a dojo going, teach me something, don't get fucked in the ass yet. <laughs> women, it can happen anywhere. Why are you still taking spin classes? <laughs> Riding a bike that goes nowhere like most of your stories. <laughs> All right, I'm going over my time. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> Bill Burr, come on. Bill Burr. Fuck, dude. Bill Burr. I forgot to mention, he's on, uh, he's hosting Saturday Night Live next Saturday night. Like, he's not fucking doing enough fucking shit. Oh my god. Ah, I fucking, a couple times during his set and Ronnie's set, I was like, my stomach fucking hurt. I was laughing so hard. I couldn't breathe. What a fucking show, huh? Yeah.